What's up, everybody? Father Winitachi here. You know what it is, and we have been spoiled today with the amount of information released from the Pokemon Company about Pokemon Sun and Moon. We're going to get into this right away. So starting off with the artwork for both Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, we are going to be able to begin our new Pokemon adventures on November 18th, 2016. As you can see on the left, we have the artwork for Sun and on the right, artwork for Moon. Those are going to be the two main legendaries that are going to be in Sun and Moon. Not much has been released on type information as well as uh, names and all that stuff. But we can pretty much guess on the Entei dog looking dude over there on the left is probably going to be a some type of dual type of fire and... I don't know, maybe electric? Fire and electric dog? Never know. And then on the right, looks like it's going to be a water type, flying type. It could be either a ghost flying, ghost water. It could be the brand new freaking evolution of three types of water, ghost, and flying. You never know. Or dark type. I mean, you never know what the hell that thing is. But on the left, it looks pretty ideal to it being fire. Next up, we've got the three starter Pokemon. Now, these were actually announced. Um, we've got Rolette, who's going to be a... I'm actually not going to get into too much details. But, here's Rolette. We've got Litten. Damn, son. Litten's lit. And we got Pop Leo. We are going to go ahead and start off with the main man himself. The Grass Quill Pokemon, Rolette. The height is one. The weight is 3.3 .3 pounds, the type is grass flying, and the ability is overgrowth. Looks very identical to a Hoot Hoot, um, except Hoot Hoot isn't grass type, but it's flying. And then, um, it, it is an owl, because as you can see, Rolette can attack without making a sound. It flies silently through the skies, drawing near its opponent without being noticed, and then lashing out with powerful kicks. So it has fighting type moves, maybe. It can also attack from a distance using the razor-sharp leaves that form part of his feathers. Next up on Rolette, we've got its visual abilities are impressive, so very identical to Hoot Hoot. The Darkness of Night, Hoot Hoot, is no obstacle to Rolette, so it is an owl. It can twist its neck nearly 180 degrees from front to back so it can di see directly behind itself. It has the habit of turning its head into, in battle to face its trainer to receive instructions. The move Leaf Age attacks an opponent by striking it with leaves. So it's probably the one that we can see in this picture. So it's kind of like a quill type attack. So Roulette knows this move from the moment it becomes your partner. So I'll tell you right now, Roulette is one of the three. It is grass and flying, and it is one of the three that actually knows a move in Pokemon that we've never seen before. Leaf Age is a brand new move to the Pokemon world and Pokemon Sun and Moon, and Rolette knows it. Next up, we've got the fire type, Litten, who is goddamn lit. Fire Cat Pokemon, as you guys know, my favorite of fire. 1-4, weight is 9.5 pounds, type is fire, and ability is blade, so it is a single type. So, so far, Rolette kind of wins, just a little bit. It's logical, but also passionate. Litten always remains cool-headed and doesn't show its emotions on the surface. So it's goddamn emo or some sort. Never know. It looks goddamn miserable. And cats, I can't stand cats. But I, I love fire type, so who knows? Litten can attack with flaming hairballs. It it's just getting worse. Its fur is rich in o oils. All right, goddamn, that's, that's cool. And immensely flammable. That's good. Litten grooms itself by licking its fur. That's, that's not good. And, when, and then it uses the collected fur as fuel for fireball attacks. When the time comes for Litten to shed its old fur, it all burns up in a glorious blaze. The move Ember attacks an opponent, opponent with firing a small flame at it. Litten knows this move from the start. So Litten is pretty much a basic standard fire type starter that knows Ember. And it, look, it looks really cool, don't get me wrong. We do need to see the second and third evolutions, but we do not have them yet. So, so far we've got a, gra a, fi a flying grass type and a fire type. Last but not least, Pop Leo, who is a sea lion. Don't get it mixed up with Samurott and all that evolution, Ashwat. Um, this looks very identical to Samurott, though, but this one's a sea lion. 
Uh, height is 1.4. Weight is 16.5 pounds. So it weighs like a freaking truck. Type, water. Ability, torrent. Paplio's swimming speed is known to exceed 25 miles per hour. So this thing is really awesome. It's better at moving in the water than on land. Still, when it's on land, it takes advantage of the plasticity of its balloons to perform acrobatic stunts and jumps. Paplio can snort out balloons made of water, which are kind of like bubbles. Which Watch it spin water balloons into a playful battle strategy. Both frivolous and hardworking, Paplio can easily get carried away, unleashing enough power in battle to make quite a spectacle. But Paplio's determined spirit means it can usually be found practicing hard on its balloon skills. The water gun uh, move attacks an opponent, opponent, he said the same thing on twice, by firing a jet of water. So Paplio knows water gun from the start. Now, out of the three, we're going to go ahead and watch a video clip that they've released, and we do get to see video footage of the game itself. We might watch it once or twice, depending on if we probably once, because I've already seen it. So we're not watching it together live, but I, I, I'm going to give you my reaction to what we, what we see. Uh, we got three starters. Again, going back to the three starters, we've got Roulette, Flying Grass. We've got Litten, who's goddamn lit with the fire, and Paplio, who's the water sea lion. Out of these three, so far, before you've seen the video and anything else, what three do you want to choose? And let me know after the video as well, uh, if, the, if the video footage makes any difference. Right now, after seeing everything, I'm probably going to be going with Litten because I am a fire type starter person. I've always been with the fire types. Again, I would love to see the um, final evolutions and the secondary evolutions. If I was to make these in order on fighting wise, Paplio is probably going to be the best out of the three because it, it it is a freaking tank and it can move. It's got speed and agility. It's a tank, so it's going to have a lot strong defense and speed probably. Litten's overall on an average scale. Probably the worst of the three. And Roulette's going to be really unique and good. It's probably either Roulette or Paplio that are going to be the one or, one or two spot. Because Roulette's got two different um, types. It's flying and grass. So it's got unique range of abilities. And Paplio's just probably stat majored. Litten's probably the worst of the three. Finally, because usually the fire types are non-stop, amazing looking, but you never know. But right now, I'm going to go with either Rolette or Paplio with Litten on the bottom. But don't get me wrong, all three of these are amazing. And I will probably be going with Litten because it is a fire type. Now, we are going to go ahead and check out the video. So let's get to it. All right, so starting off with that, only on Nintendo 3DS and 2DS. And we got to catch them all. We'll Pikachu going Pika, son. All right, here we go. Sun and Moon. The all new adventure you've been waiting for. Like a two-year-old made this so far. Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, yes! Oh, okay, so his room's on fleek. We got Kukui. Well, oh, that's probably one of the professor's aides. It did not look like the professor. It looked like an aide. There's the professor introducing the three starters. Oh, my gosh. They look so cool, but the goddamn water type is just so movable. It moves so much. We got Rolap. Looks really cool because it's grass and flying. And look at that 180 head spin. Oh my gosh. And we got Litten, who's lit. Okay, doesn't look too bad on, on video. Okay, this is actually not bad. I'm liking Litten. It looks pretty cool. And we've got, of course, the sea lion, Pop Leo, who's just fly as. Probably everybody's favorite right now of the three. We got the map. I'm um, the map. We can run. Oh my gosh. They put so much work into this game. We get trees. Finally, trees are looking actually like trees. We've got, oh my gosh, this is way too much work, dude. This is amazing. That's probably, now we're not a rival, but probably one of the guys we're going to be going with, and she's probably one as well. There's the legendary type. We get the same in video, both of them in video footage. Oh, damn. Oh, available. November 18, 2016. Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Go ahead and check it out at Pokemon.com slash Sun and Moon. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below about the legendaries, about the starters, what game are you picking up? What side are you going to start with? And if you have any questions, go ahead and post down below. Don't forget to check out the description box. Again, thank you very much for tuning in, and I love you all. And, yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much. For the Winitachi is out.